All right, you guys. So Advent of Code takes place in December and it consists of coding puzzles. Usually these puzzles will have a Christmas theme and the goal is to help Santa save Christmas. Each day from the 1st to the 25th of December, a new problem is released and you have to provide the correct solution to it. So basically you can even solve it by hand, you don't even need any code, but it's still easier to write a small script or something to help you. So each problem that you successfully solve will provide you two stars because there are two questions per problem and by the end of the competition you will hopefully have 50 stars and be able to save Christmas. Okay, so I've seen that a lot of people are saying that Rust is a great language, so I will challenge myself to complete AOC using Rust, and by the end of the competition hopefully I'll learn something new about Rust because I haven't coded anything in this language before. So in each day that I think it's interesting, I'll go over my solution and I also try to show some cool visualization of the problem. Ooh, day one! So for this year's backstory, Santa's reindeers require a special kind of fruit to be able to fly and deliver presents. So Santa has deployed the elves in the jungle using boats on their annual expedition. And here comes the first problem. The elves have brought some food with them, but each snack has a different calorie count. So we need to figure out how to prepare the ratios of food for the trip. So the elves want to know which is the elf that has the most calories and what is that value. Later on they figure out that it is better to also know who are the top 3 elves and calculate the total amount of calories. The elves write down the calories of each snack that they got and give us the list. So I created a simple function that reads the data from Stadin. The next step is to split the list by blank lines and get the calories of each elf. Then we convert all the values to numbers and add them up to get the total calories. Next we sort the values in descending order and for the first question you get the first item and for the second question we get the first three items and sum them up. So basically this was the first day. It was pretty simple but there will also be some more complicated problems along the way. Yeah, okay, so you can find links in the description for the source code and see you guys next time.